Revelation chapter 13 16-18 Reimagined, in those days, a time of great upheaval and change, a voice called out to all, regardless of their status or position in society. It commanded them to receive a mark on their right hand or forehead. This mark would become essential for any transaction of buying or selling. Without it, one would be unable to participate in economic activities. Those who possessed the mark, the name of the beast, or the number associated with his name held a distinct advantage. It was a time of wisdom and understanding, as those who discerned its significance would count the number of the beast. That number was revealed to be 666, a symbol of the man's identity. These are the last days, and peculiar events are unfolding before our eyes. The world is rapidly changing, shifting towards a society that aligns itself with the Antichrist. Look around and observe the world's readiness to embrace him when he arrives. A crucial factor contributing to this readiness is the cultural phenomenon surrounding celebrities. They have risen to a godlike status in the eyes of the public. People idolize them, adorning their walls with posters of their perfected, photoshopped bodies. Their names are chanted and screamed at concerts, akin to acts of worship. Celebrities are worshipped literally, with their lives followed obsessively through social media and news outlets. Their opinions and advice carry weight on global and personal matters. This culture of celebrity worship has become ingrained in society. Consider why brands invest millions in securing celebrity endorsements. Celebrities possess significant influence. In the same vein, the Antichrist will rise as a renowned figure, unparalleled in the history of mankind. Loved by the world, he will embody the qualities people seek in a leader, offering solutions to global issues. His demonic charisma will captivate nations, uniting them despite their differences. No ordinary person could achieve such a feat. This man will be empowered by the forces of hell itself. Just as Satan tempted Jesus by offering him the kingdoms of the world, the Antichrist will receive dominion over all nations, leading people to be drawn to him irresistibly. The culture of celebrity has even infiltrated the church. We witness the emergence of celebrity pastors, individuals who enjoy an elevated status and following. Yet, we must question if such a culture aligns with the worship of God. Is it right to exalt people when only God is worthy of worship and adoration? Let us declare together that only God is great, and we should not elevate mere mortals. This dangerous path poses risks. Apart from the rise of celebrity culture, we observe a broader societal shift that embraces the values of the Antichrist. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 prophesied an unprecedented apostasy, a worldwide revolt against godliness. Even those who profess to be Christians are entangled in this rebellion. We live in an age where good is called evil and evil is called good. The laws enacted in the past two decades reveal this shift clearly. The world has changed dramatically during this period, aligning with the prophecy that the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Forces that prepare the way for the Antichrist are actively at play, gradually removing the restraining influence of the Holy Spirit. These forces aim to establish the Antichrist's unholy kingdom. People's core values are changing leaning more towards anti-God and anti-Bible sentiments. This is the world the Antichrist desires, a world where people are molded to accept his rule willingly. Understand that spiritual forces are working diligently, drawing humanity closer to accepting the mark, aligning the world with the Antichrist's agenda. Wake up, people of God! Recognize that we are currently in a dress rehearsal for the rule of the Antichrist, the signs are evident, and the advancement of technology pushes us closer to a future where the mark becomes the sole means of financial transactions. The writing on the wall is clear when we compare the pages of our Bibles with the reality of the world. We find ourselves living in the very midst of the prophecies of the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 to 18, foretells a time when everyone, regardless of race, social class, or financial status, will be compelled to accept the mark. It will be a prerequisite for engaging in any form of commerce. People will have no choice but to conform, for without the mark, they will be unable to buy or sell. This will create a stark contrast between those who bear the mark of the beast, emblazoned with the number 666 on their foreheads or right hands, and those who refuse to do so. The world seems primed and ready for the next phase of end-time events, the rapture. As believers, we must not let our guard down. 
The events unfolding in our societies and environments are not mere coincidences. We need to be prepared for the imminent return of the Lord. As such, we should never be ashamed to associate ourselves with Christ, wherever we may be. We ought to boldly proclaim the gospel, undeterred by acceptance or rejection. There is a stern warning for those who choose to worship the beast and receive his mark. They will face the righteous wrath of God, drinking from the cup of his indignation, and enduring torment in the presence of holy angels and the Lamb. In light of these revelations, it is crucial for believers to constantly remind themselves of the imminence of the Lord's return. We must exemplify that we are children of the light during this season. Do not hesitate to stand with Christ, for only He can save us from eternal destruction. The mark of the beast may be approaching, but we are called to be the messengers of hope and salvation. We should boldly share the gospel, warning others of the consequences of accepting the mark. Let us remember Revelation chapter 14, verses 9 and 10, which emphasize that anyone who worships the beast and bears his mark will face the wrath of God. It is our duty to proclaim this truth while living each day with an expectation of Christ's return. Let us demonstrate that we are set apart, living as children of the light amidst a darkening world. The stage is being set, and the events unfolding before us align with the prophecies of Revelation. As believers, we must not be passive spectators but active participants, faithfully proclaiming the gospel and standing firm in our faith. The mark of the beast may be approaching, but we can find solace in knowing that our eternal destiny lies with the Lord. Let us be vigilant, discerning the signs of the times, and spreading the message of salvation before it is too late. As we navigate these uncertain times, we must remember that our hope lies not in the systems and structures of this world, but in the redemptive power of Jesus Christ. The mark of the beast may seek to control and manipulate, but we have been called to resist conformity and remain steadfast in our devotion to God. While the world succumbs to the allure of the Antichrist, we, as believers, are called to shine brightly as beacons of truth and righteousness. We must resist the temptations of this age and reject the cultural norms that contradict the teachings of our faith. Our allegiance is to God alone, and we must not waver in our commitment to Him. In the face of an increasingly hostile and anti-Christian world, we must stand firm in our convictions. The pressures to conform will be immense, but we must remember that our identity is found in Christ, not in the approval of society. We must not compromise our beliefs for the sake of convenience or temporary gain. Let us be a voice of truth and love in a world filled with deception and hatred. Let us share the message of salvation with boldness, knowing that time is short. The urgency of the hour demands that we actively reach out to those who are lost, sharing the hope and peace found in Jesus Christ. Furthermore, as we await the return of our Lord, we must live with a sense of anticipation and readiness. The signs of the times are evident, and the fulfillment of biblical prophecies serves as a reminder that our redemption is drawing near. Let us be vigilant, keeping our lamps burning and our hearts prepared for His coming. In conclusion, we find ourselves in a world that is rapidly aligning with the culture of the Antichrist. The mark of the beast looms on the horizon, and as believers, we must not be complacent or fearful. Instead, let us rise up as the people of God, boldly proclaiming His truth, resisting the pressures to conform, and eagerly awaiting the glorious return of our Savior. May we find strength in Him, find solace in His promises, and find the courage to navigate these tumultuous times with unwavering faith. Now, it's time for you to be an integral part of our journey. By engaging with our video, you not only show your support for our channel but also help us in reaching a wider audience. Your likes, comments, and shares carry immense value as they influence the algorithm and make it more likely for others to discover and enjoy our content. Together, we can create a ripple effect, spreading knowledge, inspiration, and entertainment to viewers around the globe. In this channel, we're passionate about delivering exceptional content that resonates with our viewers. By watching, liking, commenting, and sharing this video, you become a vital catalyst for our success. Join us on this extraordinary voyage and help shape the future of our channel. Together, we can make a difference, one click at a time. Thank you for your invaluable support.